start the recording. And then that's the last one. And now I'm going to start the part... music and we're going to go whoa, whoa, whoa. in Don't three, start it yet. Don't start two, yet. Cal, stop, one. stop, stop, stop. Why? We're starting now. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to a very unique episode of the Toaster Society podcast. All episodes are unique, Sam. It's what we do. Yeah, all your episodes are unique, but we actually planned for this one mid-episode 8, I believe it was. So That's an like that. <laughs> interesting one. It was either 8 or 9, might be 9. Yeah, so, no, it was, it was, it was 8, because it was the, um, it was the conclusion to the Tommy Wiseau, uh, uh, the Tommy Wiseau Tom versus Wiseau. the Universe yeah. episode. Yeah. Uh, basically, so in that episode, we basically had a few, about a ten minute long discussion about watching the new Sonic movie. And we've we seen it. the new Sonic movie, we did it, we which we'll it. say right now, spoiler warning to anyone who's not seen the new Sonic movie. We're going to be talking in depth about the new Sonic movie, recapping it, and just saying how, how much of a blast it was. It was pretty good. Yeah. But if... You- but if you don't want spoilers, here's my spoiler-free ten-word review. Uh, was pretty de- was pretty damn good, but no Ugandan knuckles, so zero out of ten. No Ugand, no Ugandan knuckles. Oh. How was that spoiler-free? You've you've just told everyone that there's no Ugandan knuckles. I have my hopes up for the third I one. I don't think that's the if spoiler. They have, if Ugandan knuckles yeah. isn't in the third one, we fucking riot. They put, they they put, <laughs> yeah we, they put Sanic in the first movie. So why not Ugandan Knuckles in the second one? Yeah, well that's because people genuinely like Sanic. I don't think anybody ever liked Ugandan Knuckles. To be honest, I always fucking hated it. Oh, no, no, was he treated no. with the same amount? Is oh, Sanic yeah, like uh, 2019 Shaggy? The and, holy uh, like Grail. Sanic and just better. Sh- and just Ugandan Knuckles as the Ice Age for Sonic, you, Sonic World. For ages. Effectively, yeah. Big the Cat is the Jesus Christ of the <laughs> Sonic World, of course. Yes. I bet I could find fan out of Big the Cat as Jesus within like. A I have few some. Years. I have you some bad what? Christian fan art okay, that suggests not? otherwise. My god. Like, some of these are pretty good, and then some of these are just drawn in MS Paint. Badly. Yeah. There's no Christian Big the Cat, but I have now seen, just from the first layer of Google, I have seen Big the Cat's penis. So, oh. you know. Don't... Don't Google... Like, isn't Sonic one of the most Rule 34 franchises of all time? The most, I think. Other than my... Or I, it's either Sonic or My Little Pony. Yeah, My Little Pony's I got a pretty big one, too. No way. That's just because of all the bronies, though, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway. Into the recapation, then, of um, Sonic 2. Electric Boogaloo. It should have been called Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Electric Boogaloo, to be it fair. It honestly should. You could have <laughs> called it Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Robotnik would have Boogaloo. Made... Mm. But his name's oh. not Robotnik, really, is he, in, in the movie's timeline? He... Somebody... It's either Robotnik or Eggman. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty inconclusive with which it actually is. Yeah, I've always, yeah. I've always known it was Doctor Ivan Robotnik. It wasn't Ivan; it was Ivo. But yeah, Ivan <laughs> sound, Ivan does sound better though. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's I- Ivo. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Who's going to start? Then? Anyway, so yeah. Have we even introduced each other? Jim Carrey. But yeah, no, if you trust me, if you're jumping into this, into this episode of all, if, if, if you're on episode eleven, <laughs> you know who we are. Just, just go back and watch the yeah. channel trailer. Just yeah, just watch the channel trailer or like episode four or something. Just <laughs> enjoy it. 
just, just, just go on to it and just enjoy it. You know, this is this is just gonna be rambling about the Sonic movie. Is it was awesome. Save you, save you movie was... tickets for the Sonic movie. Don't waste it on like the Batman or Mobius. Morbius. Whatever. The Batman was also pretty good. The Batman was pretty good. But that's beside the point. Morbius is apparently worse than Suicide Squad, so... Who would win in a fight between the new Batman and Sonic? Definitively Sonic. Because Batman Batman is just a rich emo. But what if he does a backflip? He dodged those hyper beams. (laughs) What if he does a then again, to be fair, for the entire movie, Sonic kind of forgot that he was Sonic. Which is one of the only things I have with the movie, is that Sonic forgot that he was Sonic for 90% of the movie. Uh-huh. Like, what, what, what kind of What kind of movie <laughs> was it? Like, it, was it a fetch quest sort of movie? Uh, good because... one. It, no, it was it was basically just if you took Indiana Jones and put Sonic in it. Oh yeah, there was a lot of Indiana just Jones. Like, <laughs> it was literally the plot of fucking uh, not uh, what was the fucking first Indiana Jones film called? Raiders of the Lost. I know Star. the name of all the sequels, but it was basically just Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like, Although exactly was, the plot of Red is Lost Ark as well. There was some um, Kingdom of the no, Crystal no, Gen- Skull oh, and um, whatever. Was it the... F- which was the one set in India? Well. Was it the second or the third one? I think that was Temple of Doom. I was, think. That the, was that the second or the third one? <laughs> I think that's the second one. Alright. So it's got a bit of Indiana Jones. It's just every yeah. Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. Okay. So no, but think about it. Someone, uh, uh someone who a uh, a plucky, unexpected like hero gets, um, gets sent on a quest around the world to try and find a magical artifact that people think is gonna make them very strong. The evil force gets the object because, like, and just sort of dies immediately after <laughs> because of it being well, too powerful. It's, it's left- it's left pretty ambiguous whether or not Robotnik survived, but that's besides the point. We need to recap the entire. We need to reca- recap really the entire don't. movie from the start. So, movie starts on the <laughs> mushroom planet where Jim Carrey has shaved Which his head. Should have had a. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know how he got a razor. On a, mush- a planet entirely of mushrooms, but you know, he just rubbed point. mushrooms into his head. He was going bold from yeah. the mushroom. Yeah, not, not poison, just. But yeah, yeah. He was also probably high on the mushroom fumes. Very high. I don't know. Look at Dwayne the that... Rock Johnson. Dw- Dwayne the Ho- Dw- Yeah. Dwayne the yeah. Rock Johnson is there as well. Yeah, he has. <laughs> he has a rock companion. Uh, and he set up a um, Rube Goldberg right machine problem. to make him coffee out of mushrooms. Uh huh. Mushrooms. I don't know how logical that is, but it is a thing that happened. He also builds a big satellite dish and um, sends a message out into the universe. Again, and not quite sure how it works, but. Idris Elba finds and him. Idris Elba appears. Idris Elba appears out of Doctor Strange Paul. Goes, why? Goes A O G. What you? What's what's happening, fella? <laughs> oh yeah, you want to kick this shit out of this little blue bastard? Re, I uh, come with me. Oh, I, I, I'm a sick one, mate. That's that's how I imagine Knuckles would talk. Hey, up, mate. Want to go? Want to go? Beat up on it? Yeah, or I'm right into it. Yeah, 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 mate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that Knuckles the Echidna probably drinks WKD. Knuckles the Echidna and, like, and weather spoons. Well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly. He does like, seem like weather spoons type of guy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, they leave in the Doctor Strange portal and then on Earth. 
There's and then a, uh, and Sonic, Sonic there. Is, Sonic is taking the what two of the only human characters in the entire movie on an illegal trip to Hawaii. Uh, because no, sent... no, 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 no. You forgot that he stopped. You forget that he blew up an entire city block in the words yeah. of the movie, even oh. though he just set off a few fire extinguishers. He did, didn't? Yes. Yeah, Sonic, like... Sonic is an arsonist. Yeah, he, he's a domestic terrorist. He threw some bombs in a bin. <laughs> yeah, Sonic <laughs> is the villain terrorism. in this movie. Yeah, surprisingly. Sonic is the... That has done worse in this... Like, let's think about it. What did, what did Eggman really do in the film? He got... He, he made a giant robot. Out of a bunch of tanks. We'll get to that later. He, j he made a big robot trying to kill an alien. Like, he he's not really the bad guy. It's Sonic, in his first scene on in the movie, just did domestic rips terrorism. Off, rips so, off Batman. So, he's really the villain here. But badly. Yeah, he, do he did... He did... He did pretty much do... No, he did the opening scene of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Apart from with more, like, explosives. He is literally just Electro. He's blue. He, he appears to have electricity powers. <laughs> and he's got to fight a big red <laughs> enemy. Yeah! Yeah! It's, 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 it's Indiana Jones with, Spider Spider with the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, which is the fucking... Oh, just it's the best combination. I think you'll agree. <laughs> it's just a pure excellent. Just anyway, yeah. After causing domestic terrorism, uh, Sonic you. uses the two of uses two of the rings that the past movie set up as being very rare and important to uh, yeah. send two random humans on an illegal trip to Hawaii. Because uh, they didn't go through border control. So like, add, someone asked to see their passport. So no one knows the how they of, got that. Add, add to the uh, add to the list of Sonic's crimes. Uh, he is committing smuggled like, illegal immigrants. Yes, Christ. so he's not only we're done fine. terrorism we're but also human trafficking. People, Sonic how has already committed domestic and there's already been terrorism, <laughs> human trafficking. And then also proceeds to vandalize their home. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's his home as well. So, so. so add, Callum, Callum, in edit, Callum in editing, put a list on screen of just all of Sonic's crimes. But war crimes. <laughs> this movie. Well, current Callum is drawing the Mushroom <laughs> Island, the first beginning scene of the film. In At Microsoft the end of this, we need to Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We need to just try and describe this movie in just like five words and have Callum create like a thing like poster through just a vague description and that'll be the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, but that that can be the that that's the final act. But yeah, anyway, yeah. so uh Anyway, so Idris after Elba committing Elba. no less than three crimes. No 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 Tails shows up as well uh, in before Tails. Idris Elba shows up. Te Technically, but Tails doesn't really do anything. Tails shows up wow. after Idris Elba shows up. In the entire movie. Tails does nothing yeah, in the he entire movie. Which is sad. Other than Tails get knocked cool. out like three times. Like actual Tails. There's no Big the Cat cameo. Nah, <laughs> there is no, his big there's no Big the Cat in this movie, but... Yeah. Mar <laughs> Like it's Mario's not, Yoshi, if we don't get he's big the one that Mario just abuses to get extra airtime. Literally, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, this, anyway, movie, so this movie is about Electro using... This movie is about Electro using his birth defectual friend... Committing various to crimes. ...to escape Stacker Pentecost and his friend with a Jaeger. <laughs> Genuinely, the end of this movie is like fucking Pacific Rim. And it makes it better because one of the fucking main characters is voiced by Saka, Saka fucking Pentecost. And 
So, so far, we anyway, have a new blend of Indiana Jones, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Pacific Rim. With a little bit of the Super Mario still games. better than Pacific Rim yeah. Uprising. Anything's better than Pacific Rim Yeah, anyway, so after committing more... Anyway, after committing multiple crimes in the first five minutes, Idris Elba shows up through his uh, Doctor Strange portal and tries alongside to punish, literally just Jim Carrey on all of the drugs. For his multiple atrocities against humanity. Unfortunately, like... unfortunately, Sonic resists and escapes um, using his yellow friend. <laughs> Using his yellow friend with a birth defect. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> One thing I've wondered about that movie, I don't think it's directly explained. Is Tails a boy or a girl? He's a dude. Tails is canonically male. Because the voice in actor. The, but it's never explained in the movie. No. It's never explained in the movie, but in the actual Sonic games, Tails is male. Also, yeah, they do call him Miles Tails Power at the, like in the end scene, so presumably yeah, yeah. it's the same as uh. again, I imagine. But anyway, yeah. So uh, Sonic resists and runs away with his birth defect friend away from um, Idris Elba. Away from the to, uh, away from the just his crimes. Justices of peace. Um... Yeah. I mean, I, I just realised something also, about this movie. Also, also, we've, there... forgotten a, we've forgotten another crime. We've forgotten another crime. We've forgotten another crime that Sonic commits. He broke resisting in the first arrest. time he pulled up on screen. <laughs> resisting arrest, and also he broke the speed limit by uh, by multiple factors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speeding. I see. Just lets it go. So speeding. But, yeah. That's another crime. <laughs> He's in collusion with the to jail police for thirty years. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, c continuing on. Sonic that, what is the bad guy. Runs away from the police. Um, Knuckles uh, falls off a cliff. Uh, and then yeah. gets rescued like, by Jim Carrey. Yeah, they, they get away in a stolen vehicle. A stolen police car. So that's another one, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto and... And then they destroy... They commit Grand so Theft Auto a total of three times in this movie. two counts of arson. Um, in the first 20 minutes of the film. Uh, yeah, so then they end up dangling off a cliff. Then Tails ends up flying um, Sonic away. Uh -huh. Leaving, leaving knuckles dangling by his knuckles, so that's attempted manslaughter. That is just attempted murder, yeah. But you better be keeping a list of these crimes, by the way. Sam, keep, uh, keep a or list. Or I will. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing luckily, epic um, drawing. Luckily, Idris Elba doesn't die. I'm keeping but... a list of the crimes. Luckily, Idris because Elba doesn't Jim die Carrey because Jim Carrey Hulk summons Hulk. in the um, the Hulkbuster armor from space. Uh huh. And uh, and then goes to his flamboyant gay friend's coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. Who, uh... Who wants to fuck? Yeah, it which... is... yeah, I don't and know. I've, just... I've realised something. Yeah, that coffee shop is secret, called like... the that coffee shop is called the Mean Bean. It's a reference Co to Doctor Eggman's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> I, I did point this out while we were watching it. Yeah, it's did you? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that then. Yeah, so uh, they go to Dr. Enron's Mean yeah. Bean Machine. Explosion. There we go. Cal Callum, can you stop drawing so you can join in the conversation? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like... tuning in, but you know, this is fun. Like, when okay, you guys. So three, all three of us were on the thumbnail, so. Oh no, I'm not drawing the thumbnail. I'm, I aim terrorism. to have a re a recreation of the scenes. <laughs> yeah, so um, we had speeding, we had terrorism, we had... Um, we need to write these down. I'm writing them down now. Speeding, two accounts of domestic terrorism, vandalism, resisting arrest, um, attempted manslaughter, uh, did we get Grand Theft Auto? One second, slow down, slow down. 
slow down, slow down. So smuggling of illegal immigrants, yep. vandalism, resisting arrest. Two counts of domestic terrorism, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Not that. I believe two counts of vandalism. Uh, yeah. I think that's it for now. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's see what. Uh, okay, what happens after they after Jim Carrey and Idris Elba go back to the game and coffee shop? They uh, <laughs> genuinely. They, don't. He likes. He likes sets up a bunch of drones to go look for them because they're after some uh, magical yeah. green sex energy encased inside a Doctor Doom crystal. Yeah. They're just ripping off us now, aren't they? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they're just rip so not only have they ripped off all these other films, they're also ripping off Thor's in a weird twist of fate. <laughs> yeah, so I believe they go to Russia uh, um, to try. But yeah, and... they go to Siberia, which is um, another count of um. That, that's a uh, that's that, that's a like, second illegal count entry. of illegal of crossing a border without a passport. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then, then they go into like um, a Russian weather spoons and like uh, order. It, it is just a Russian weather spoons. Uh, order. They, they tongue, order some beef tongue, stew. Tongue soup. Um, beef tongue stew. Yeah, beef tongue stew or something. I don't fucking remember the exact. Because wording. Tails, has a uh, Tails calls an old Russian lady. Yeah, Tails uses Google that Translate to insult the barmaid's mother or something. Yeah. Uh, then, then they're revealed yeah. to be furries. So the Russians do the one thing that anyone should do at the sight of furries and immediately throw them in the fire. And that's a dance foul. Oh yeah, first they try and murder, <laughs> murder Sonic the Hedgehog, which to be fair. Is a pretty justified action considering his crimes so far. And yeah. then Tails <laughs> shouts some random phrase, and then it makes some big buff angry man really more angry. And then he's like, I dance to kill you, or something. He's got a Tico's <laughs> tattoo on his chest, yeah. so I'm pretty sure this guy's the hero. He did have a, he had a tattoo of him T posing on his chest. Yeah, that's that's you know, game okay. dedication. It is game of dedication, so it, yeah. it, it does excuse the attempted. Ma Actually, no, he wasn't even attempted. In he wasn't even involved in the attempted murder. No, so, he was just, he's he was just sitting by. Uh, yeah. So then he starts doing. Yeah, the he then he starts doing the Katowski kick, um, and they have no idea what they're doing. Yep. But then they switch it for so a they completely Western song. <laughs> they they illegally. They illegally use Bruno Mars's music without, like, his express consent, so that's copyright, um, that, no, that's, like, I imagine they have violating copyright. I, I imagine Tails went to Bruno Mars shortly before finding Sonic and specifically requested him to have, sell them the rights to his music. Oh, we forgot about the bit where Eggman flosses. What does, what does Eggman do? What? Where Eggman flosses when he saves Shad, uh, not fucking, where he saves Knuckles. That's not important. No, that's, that's... we need to mentally prepare people he also, for that. He also gets his hand broken. He also gets oh, his yeah. hand broken. Yeah, Idris Elba time. likes to crush people's hands. That means he trusts you. Because he's not only put, because not, because not only is he playing Knuckles and Stack of Pentecost, but at the same time he's also playing Zangief. So, you know, <laughs> to be fair, of all people to play Zangief, I'd probably choose Idris Elba at that point. It's <laughs> a voice actor, maybe not. Do you think they'll ever make another Street Fighter movie? I hope not, because that, like, Raul Julia already perfected M. Bison. 
Just, like, just like just from, do just what they the did with Princess. Le- do what they did with Princess Leia in uh, the Star Wars movies, but what good. Makes, what, wait, just what make M by what make M Bison pee post through hyperspace? No, is that no what you're suggesting? You, use the footage. <laughs> use the footage of M Bison played by Raul Julia because that's one of the only good bits about that movie. Then recast everyone and make the movie. <laughs> Make the movie again around Raul Julia's M. Bison. And then you've got a great movie. Yeah. Just do the movie again, but make it good this time. Eat Raul <laughs> Julia. Yeah, literally, just remake the entire movie scene for scene and replace everyone but Raul Julia. I mean, I guess some of the actors like, are kind of competent. Uh, I mean... They were like, competent, they weren't good, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Anyway, back to Sonic. Any... The uh, many crimes of Sonic the Hedgehog. The many this crimes movie of... should have been called. Yeah, so is squatting a crime because he ends up staying in the bar? Technically, yes. Is technically... it illegal in Siberia? Technically, it's oh, squatting. Just... Uh, then they go flying over, like, the mountains, so that's flying over illegal airspace. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, it is Russia, so they probably should have been shot down at that point. Enter it, like, entering an O-fly zone. Hmm. So, they, like, go up a mountain or something? Uh, what, what are they trying to yeah. do on the mountain? They're trying to find the temple yeah. that holds the next clue to find the big sex energy emerald. Because, oh yeah, we forgot to mention, they found a map that the owl from the first movie that didn't get any screen time gave to Sonic as a child. Uh, no, it was the map from the first film. To lead him to this big emerald. It was the map from the first film. Yeah, then, which also randomly... Reason, it's magic now. I don't know, they kind of like just... Yeah, got... and it made... And they turned the owl. The, the owl became a force ghost. Yeah. The owl became a force ghost. Oh, it did. It did, didn't it? Yeah. They, but they yeah. just kind of. Uh, yeah, they just kind of stronger than you could possibly imagine. They find a temple that leads them to their next clue, like their next fetch quest thing. They commit grave robbery. They, they commit, commit grave gra- robbery. Grave robbery. Um. Then. Uh, then Dr. Robotnik blows a hole through the wall and um, deals this weapon of mass destruction away from Sonic, doing the morally right thing. No, it wasn't the weapon of mass de- it wasn't the no, weapon it of mass destruction, compass. it was the compass to find the weapon of mass destruction. He, he steals the means but- for Sonic to find this weapon of mass destruction. And takes it away from him, doing the morally correct thing in that situation. Yep, saving so again, the lives of point millions in the of people. Um, yeah, and potentially billions of dollars of, like, the American damage. public's money. Yep, so um, then Sonic yep. goes out and tries to get it back, but uh, Tails gets knocked out or something. He and, gets blown uh, up by a, fun, by, a No, 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 also important... Important, important, important detail. This is where Sonic starts to forget he's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. He does, so he yeah. Forget that he's scared of an av- he forget He's scared of an avalanche, forgetting that he can run faster than the speed of light, which yeah, makes like... precisely zero sense, but you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, forgot... Sonic oh, has amnesia? Mention... I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. But then, uh, like, Idris Elba flies away with... Um... Flies away with Doctor Robotnik, but he he starts to conspire. As he, to he has a heart to heart with Sonic. He starts to conspire against Which the hero of the movie, yeah. uh, Doctor Robotnik. Um, and um, this is where the yeah, wedding subplot. Beginning to sub- feel turn. Yeah, the wedding subplot kind of comes. Oh into yeah, play. we forgot yeah. to mention the wedding subplot. Yeah, so yeah, uh, basically the two human humans male are in number- Hawaii because of a wedding. Yeah, human it, whale, uh, human whale. Yes, hu- human, human whale played by Cyclops from the X Men movie. Is that Cyclops um, from the X Men movie? Uh, and 
Yeah, it's James Marsden. I pointed this out multiple times. That he's I, like, I he's literally like, only know him. Movie. I literally only know him. Like, I don't recognise him as Cyclops, probably just because he's wearing those big dumb glasses all the time. But I literally only recognise him from the Illumination Master. It's been 22 known as years Hulk. since X Men. Oh, Jesus. I forgot he was in Hot. Yeah, his, his most recent. Anyway, yeah, James Marsden's career. To um, just CGI rodents. Abominations. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah, so, so yeah, he like he, he like steals a, he a wedding ring. Magic because he like. Yeah. He, so he, he steals a wedding ring. With a so wedding he, ring. he he he's in he's in cohorts with Sonic because he stole their wedding ring and replaces it with their passport home, basically <laughs> in the safe of the other ring. So that's already yeah because I don't know, because apparently James. Because apparently James Marsden decided to steal Scott Wang's gimmick, and also the guy from One Division, who I forget the name of, Jimmy but Wu. the best character in One Division. What? Jimmy uh... Wu from One Division. Yes, that's the one. Yep. So anyway, Jimmy Wu and his close-up magic. This comes into play later on when Sonic is forgetting that he's Sonic and running away from the avalanche. He calls up Cyclops from the X Men. Uh, decides to call him on his iPhone. He calls yep. Cyclops on his iPhone that apparently Sonic, Sonic has now. Where does Sonic keep that iPhone? Where does Sonic keep, does Sonic keep his blue? phone? In his shoes. Up his ass. It's the only, <laughs> the only logical it's explanation is he shoves it up his ass. It okay. might just be inside his gloves. In his or... ass TARDIS. <laughs> no, it's inside his ass TARDIS. It's canon. He, he is blue. <laughs> yeah, Sonic. his ass is a TARDIS. Sonic is bigger on the inside. Had... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop. Don't fuel the people on DeviantArt. Uh... <laughs> Callum, if, yeah. it's not too much, if it's not too much trouble, could you, like, find some Sonic Rule 34 where he's got his no. butthole gaping open, but put no. the TARDIS no. inside? No! <laughs> no! Sleepless, Callum! No! No! <laughs> we're not we're not looking up Sonic's gaping asshole and we're definitely not putting it in the video because that would get us just TOS from all of YouTube, I'm pretty sure. From anywhere ever. <laughs> just yeah, that would just get us the IP banned from the internet. And I'm not planning on climbing up Big Ben to steal it anytime soon. So, you know, I'd rather not do that. Big Ben's the name of the bell, not the tower. Uh, right. I, I, I know. It's still funny, though. Anyway, so... Yeah, so, like, he calls so them up... They get, his... they get elite... That's another count of a, another count of entering... Uh, crossing a border without a passport. Yeah. An another count of that, because they Bru go into Hawaii... Ruins a wedding, which, considering the fact that it would have cost all the guests to get there, I mean, it's it's later revealed that it was like a government conspiracy or something. Uh, but still, it it would have yes. cost several thousand dollars to put on. So, um, so Te Sonic no wait, he co because he's the one who got he's the one who got Cyclops to open the portal to an av an active avalanche in Siberia. He's causing all that property damage. Yeah. So that's Property damage on his list of crimes. Profits, yep. Uh, transporting foreign substances. He takes a load of snow there. I mean, yeah. Fair. Tails is still knocked out, uh, so he... he uh, um... But then... Transport of foreign substances without, without a license. Yep. Um, also, he commits driving without a license twice in the opening 20 minutes because he um, drives the van that's getting robbed yeah, and he, also drives the police car. Well, that's no, two types of driving without a license. Car, oh, wait, no, Maybe yeah, Sonic takes a license. The no, he does originally, and then. Yeah, so that's two counts of driving without a license. Maybe he just keeps, uh, maybe he just keeps it in like his butt with the rest of his stuff. Yeah, his ass TARDIS where he keeps his ass TARDIS. Out. 
Including the rings. I really like the drawings I've made. Including the rings. <laughs> including the... Sorry, what? Uh, no, we are, we are not talking about Sonic's butt rings. Moving on. <laughs> no, the rings go on its cock. <laughs> now we're definitely getting into the Rule 34 territory. <laughs> what are we thinking about what I've drawn so far, by the way? <laughs> um, I'm Amazing. liking it. Impeccable. Uh, Dr. Eggman looks like he's got tongues coming out of his nose. Yeah. That is how it looks like, in fact. Also, why are you giving him a massive <laughs> dick bolt? Because he's got big dick energy! <laughs> also, why is Knuckles doing a Russian folk dance? He's being hit by a car, what do you mean? Which one are you on about? Oh yeah, that, oh yeah that's attempted. Because they did hit him with a car, so that's attempted vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> it is. Another Attem little crime. Attempted vehicular manslaughter. Right, now I need... Uh, I'm on the cabin scene now. This so is a cheery, uh, a cheery episode. Yeah, so the government arrests Sonic for, you wait, and, his, so. and his accomplice for all of their war crimes. Um, um, but then be. he breaks out of prison, which is... Which is, they are, uh, aged, they are know, aided and vetted like by escape. woman number one and wedding woman number two. Escape, escaping, also escaping yep. of, of uh, police custody. Yep. That's uh, fine. And, a, and aiding a suspect to resist arrest. So that's another war crime for them. Um, no, not a war crime, but you know, not still a, a crime. No, still, still not good. Um, what else is there? Define government orders? Uh, yeah, yeah, technically. Actually. Cool. So then uh, Sonic decides, because um, there's been some sort of crazy thing throughout this movie where Sonic can or cannot swim. I don't get it. It's as inconsistent as the actual Sonic games. Um, but... because, because in one of the opening scenes, he goes on a kayak. And then falls into the water and can't swim, but then he gets pulled out, then, dried off, and then can run on and water. And then immediately after turns into Dash Incredible. They are literally stealing from the Tommy Which Wiseau episode of this podcast. Gimmick, gimmick, gimmick infringement is that's gimmick infringement of uh, both Dash Incredible and us. Yep. That's so another movie. that's another movie they've stolen from. Yeah, okay, anyway, so yeah, he goes, oh yeah, this is too dangerous for you guys, I'm gonna go stop the giant green sky laser stolen from the end of the Avengers. Or Suicide <laughs> Squad, Jesus is or across. Superman, or, or Suicide Squad, or... Yeah, there's a bunch of superhero movies. Literally any movie. Being... Literally any superhero movie ever yeah, any, made in the he... Then he, then he, Jesus is across a massive hundred mile long ocean. Yep. Then uh, gets dies. To, then gets he just to the, dies in the movie ends. From Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, where, where he attempts to steal the weapon of mass destruction. So Jim Carrey, in a moment of righteous self sacrifice, absorbs the power of the energy so Sonic cannot get it and flies away. At which point Idris Elba uh, with his new well, and also gets a new he also now gets an outfit that effectively makes him look like Enchantress from Suicide yeah. Squad. Uh-huh. Because the colours and the white works. Yeah, it, it looks like it looks like either a mix of Enchantress from Suicide Squad with a bit of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven thrown in there. I was gonna it say looks it looked like like, like a Tron suit. It did. It does actually. It looks like it might be like the he, final. He boss gets an like... enchantress theme from Sue. Yeah. All right, that sounds pretty cool. But yeah, so he does that. Yep. So he, he goes. Then they fly to. Then they fly back to Green Hills. How did how did the like main characters the main quote unquote heroes get back to New York? Or where the fuck Seattle or where, wherever the fuck. Sonic just remembered he could run. Wherever the fuck Green Hill is. Oh no no no! They stole the fucking plane. Yeah, he remembered. 
Yeah, they, they, they did, didn't they? That's a, that, that's more gra that's another that's Grand Theft Auto again. Grand Theft Plane, technically. I say it's a lot more. Wow, Sonic is really not racking up a good record here. Yeah, so they it's steal a they it's steal Grand a plane. Box sized plane. That is yeah. scope, which is that is mysteriously fox-sized. Despite the fact it was right, it was a skywriter that was dragging along a like a banner yeah. for the wedding, but did it had like nobody in it unless did they like... a mess. So, no, my my guess is that uh, the tails threw someone out of that plane, because if not, what, how would it be flying? Murder, uh, okay. So, so that, that, that is just murder Let's... that goes well, on the record. Maybe it might just be assault, but... Yeah, so they, so they hijack a plane. No, no one would survive, no, no one could, su no one could survive a fall from that height. That is so they, murder. They hijack, they hijack a plane, fly back to Green Hill Zone, how do the other people get there? Uh, they steal an army truck. I don't know. Across Hawaii. Yeah, yeah that's more Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Like, oh wait, no, no, no! They steal the army truck from Hawaii, they... which is an island. No, I, they I, get I, back actually, wait, no, it's Hill. not explained how they steal the army truck when Eggman's in the mech already. They just teleport. Yeah, when he's in his Jaeger. They teleport, which is... I, I, I don't know if that's a crime, but it might be. Actually, that's another count of crossing borders illegally. Yep. So, that's three counts of crossing a border illegally from the heroes of the movie. Yep, so they go back where Dr. Jesus Egg... Christ, he's... Where Dr. Eggman once again... Where he goes to a car... Goes to a coffee shop with his you know, gay friend. <laughs> yeah, who is getting who is getting fun who is getting funky with some handcuffs? <laughs> no, he uh, he yeah he no gets, not that he no. Uh, there, also, we forgot that a stupid fucking idiot of a cop comes into the coffee shop and re arrests him without cause. That's yep. undue arrest, which is a yep. crime. I don't. Plus, I don't think he had a warrant to search there, did he? He didn't, so that's undue uh, arrest and... Unjust arrest and um, and invasion of a property without a warrant. Uh, and you're saying we're yeah. meant to be rooting for these people. And breaking and entering, because he did break in. Uh, you gotta hate it when policemen oh. abuse their power. Yep, so anyway. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so. Yep, find, finds his uh, bar friend. Uh, and then. Flamboyant, his flamboyantly gay coffee shop companion, yes. But then Sonic appears to have turned the military. And then breaks him out of. Sonic appears to have turned the military against Hero of This World, Dr. Eggman. And they pull up in a bunch of tanks to try and kill Idris him. Idris Elba betray uh, Idris Elba betrays him as yeah. well, which is you know another. So in, so in a moment of wait, a wait, last stand, which is a count again. In a moment of last stand uh, desperation, he builds a giant Eggman Jaeger. Creates a out, Jaeger out of all their tanks and things to try and once once so they were all, threatening him with. Yeah, that they were threatening him with to try well, and to purge the world, to, to purge, purge the, the world of the of of the worst of the thing evil ever known as it. Sonic T Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. So at, at this point, like this there is point, been a lot of crimes. A specific rim. And for whatever yeah, reason, so that's more than him. And for whatever reason, Idris Elba loses about 5,000 brain cells. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, but they do also destruction of a per, of um of a person's private property. Yep. Well, well vandalism again. So that's two counts of vandalism, probably more, but I ha I counted other counts of vandalism as other things. So another count of vandalism. 
Yep. So uh, then, yeah, they they do that. That uh, there's possible manslaughter because Jim Carrey never appears again. Well, he still, gets shoved out of um, his giant bef mouth. before he gets before he gets shoved out. Sonic summons him to wards uh, as a distraction. As yeah, a distraction, destroy, destroy, summons Eggman destroys an him. entire bridge. Yeah, but on a giant want... bridge, that's destruction of uh, like destruction, destruction of, of public, public property. property. Says, "Come and get me," which in my no, ears sounds of, like, like sounds like surrender. But then they attack Eggman, so that's um. Falsely, uh, what's it called when you like f fake surrender and then attack? False, false, sur false surrendering, I suppose. Which yeah, is, also which a, is war a war crime. crime. Yep, literally a war crime. <laughs> the, they backstab Doctor Eggman against the Geneva Convention. Yep, they backstab Doctor. Yeah, Eggman. Knuckles commits the biggest act of uh, Knuckles commits the biggest act of betrayal in cinematic history. Yep. So that's not a crime technically, but still, you know, still not a great look. I'm loving this art, by the way, Cal. Oh, don't um, worry, it's only getting better. Oh yeah. Um, Why does it look like Doctor Eggman has dildo okay, strapped good. to his side of his thing? <laughs> the guns. Of course. Yeah. They are very clearly guns, by the way. <laughs> mm. Anyway, yeah. So, so what? Ha okay, so what happens after that, after the false surrendering and destruction of a bridge? Uh, uh, then Sonic turns Super Saiyan. Uh, God, Super Saiyan. No, because Tails and Knuckles yeah, distract the Egg Boy. Yeah, Sonic causing steals him to lose his green sex yeah. energy. <laughs> Sonic steals the Infinity Stones. Uh, uses them for himself. That's so they rip off yeah. Avengers. They rip off Avengers Come Endgame. God. Yep. Literally turns, Super Saiyan, infringement. literally turns Super Saiyan. Literally turns Super Saiyan. Tifos is into the. And it's possible manslaughter. It's not manslaughter because he intended to knock him over and kill him. Oh, okay, so so possible murder. Then. Attempted murder or just murder? Yeah, so that's why I'm putting possible murder. We don't know if Jim Carrey survived, so. It's it's up oh it's up in the air. We can know. only hope. It's, it's, it's a thing. We need we can to only like, hope that Jim Carrey survive. We need to like estimate after the fact, like how long all these war crimes would warrant him in prison. It's like it's oh, like yeah, one of those. I'm planning on doing that. It's like one of those edits people do for like uh, South Park when they cut Carmen's war crimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah. after that, after the attempted murder or actual murder, depending, uh, um, so Sonic ejaculates that, out the then, Infinity Stones and uh, blasts them away into the ether. Which is public, which is public indecency. Which is public indecency because he, he gets naked because yep. of it. But, He's always naked. Yeah, you know, public indecency technically. Yeah, it's public so indecency it's public throughout indecency the entire movie. How could we forget to mention yeah. public indecency? Public indecency, that's a crime. Yeah. Then, Maybe that's... then they go and play a... Then they go and play a baseball game. Oh, and he forgot to count the, the uh, third count of Grand Theft Auto when they steal the, um, when they steal the army truck. Yeah. Yeah. Then, for whatever reason, they're Enough. pardoned and go and play baseball. Uh, and then they just drive away. Yeah. No, they play and baseball and destroy more public property. They do they destroy more public property because they destroy that sign. Yep, with with the with the ball. That. So, so that's more vandalism. I think that's that everything. Is that is. Then they uh, then they no, then they forget their can of their their um thing of beer. So that's like public drunkenness, which is a crime. And it also has the fucking emerald in it. Oh yeah. So you know, good for them. Yeah, so for they the, um, they they bring the uh, they bring the thing with them. And yeah, and then, I don't think 
That's the and end then, of the movie. But then the mid the mid credit scene, which yeah. reveals that the government in the Cold War was working on the best character in this film other than Eggman, and that you is heard? Eddie the fucking Hedgy himself. You heard it. You heard it here first. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog for Sonic Three, baby. Sonic Three and Knuckles. Woo, Edgy the Hedgy. Edgy the Hedgy. You thought the war crimes were extreme with Edgy. Sonic 2. Wait for Sonic 3. With the Sonic with a literal when gun. When we had Shadow's war crimes. People could, I, I'm honestly considering the fact that Shadow probably committed less crimes in his game, which was entirely about shooting people with a massive gun, than Sonic mm. did in this movie about supposedly stopping Eggman from controlling the universe. Son, this, this is. I'm gonna. I'm Eggman, tell you how many Eggman crimes was have been only committed. Only trying to control the universe to save the world from the beast that is Sonic. Right, are we calculating his uh, jail time now? 29, no less than 39 separate instances of crimes to my remembrance. Rather than more. <laughs> How long did no hedgehogs less than live? 39 crimes, including multiple war crimes. Hedgehogs live about 13 years, I think. Uh, Wait, How, How long does a hedgehog hog live? <laughs> Five two years. to five years. Two to yeah, two, two to five years. So he's getting no. He is getting multiple life sentences for all of his various crimes, including domestic terrorism and Jesus you know Christ actual God, crimes man. against the Geneva Conventions. Yeah. So him. Oh so, yeah. You know. Him and all four of his accomplices are going him to and his cohort. for a long time. Yeah. So, that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, also known as the... No, you know how the second Fantastic Beast movie was called The Crimes of Grindelwald? <laughs> the no, this Crimes of Sonic. Sonic. The Crimes Sonic the Hedgehog, The Crimes of Sonic. That, we need to make that, we need to make the that crime. Photoshop, just... The, the Crimes of Grindelwald, but that's it's gonna The Crimes be the thumbnail. of Sonic. Yes, and the title. No, that's what the thumbnail is. That's the... That's what the thumbnail is and the title, just uh, Sonic the Hedgehog got... 2, The Crimes of Sonic right, the Hedgehog. Alright, 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 whose head are we putting on? It's going to be Sonic's head on Grindelwald, naturally. Um, uh, are there any other... Hello? Hi, everything just kind of cut out for a there's second. There's that guy, there's the guy... Yeah, same. There's the guy oh, yeah. who um who was the Flash in the um in the Justice League movie. He's also a villain in Crimes of Grindelwald, I believe. Oh, right. oh. Isn't he? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Me neither. Seeing as he's Flash and his color scheme's red, will make him Knuckles. Uh, is there a female bad guy in the Crimes of Grindelwald? Pretty sure there is. All right, put we'll, tail. Anyway, we'll do. We'll, that's going we'll to that be the. That's going to be the poster. That's going to be the th That's going to be the thumbnail for post, this amazing post. episode. Yep. So that was that was the Sonic yeah, movie. Also, um, also the movie committed a crime. The movie committed a crime against our time by making us watch watch ten minutes of credits to try and find an end credit scene that doesn't fucking exist. Yeah. yeah so more, uh, thank you, Dad. Right here. Don't stay throughout the credits. Because there's no end credits. Scene. Other than I mean, Edgy Boy. What? Yeah, stay for there's Edgy a mid, the Hedgy. There's a mid credits scene. Stay for the mid credits, anyway. leave before the end credits. Because all you get is the Paramount Pictures logo. Also, here's a fun thing. They also mention the they mention Marvel characters and DC characters in the film, despite owning none of them. <laughs> so that's just like copyright infringement on the Sonic like, is guilty of copyright Paramount. infringement. And as no, he already Paramount... was, but it wasn't so like actually yeah no. Paramount is also guilty here, but you know, Sonic is in the in the logic of the universe, Sonic is like guilty of copyright infringement. 
Well, that implies that, like, the MCU exists in the Sonic the Hedgehog expanded universe. That's just the movies, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it's like the Kevin Bacon paradox. Eventually, you'll end up going back to the exact same characters. Because if the MCU exists... Yeah, yeah. If the MCU exists, and if Patrick Stewart, which is apparently in Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness, coming out later this year... If they're, out, br- but... if they're bringing that uni- him, yeah. if they're bringing that universe in, then technically speaking, the same guy who played Cyclops is also in the Sonic movie. Hmm. And there's all- and I know this doesn't really relate to Sonic, but the new Moon Knight thing. How are they going to try and explain that Moon Knight is Moon Knight and Apocalypse? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, because he is Apocalypse, isn't he? Yep. And also they own Star Wars, which he's also in, is he not? And Ryan Reynolds is in like three Marvel things. He's in Deadpool, X-Men Origins Wolverine, <laughs> and Blade 3. As Deadpool. And also he was in Green Lantern, never forget Green Lantern, even though that's the Easter. Oh, yeah, ne- never, forget. never forget Green Lantern, no matter how much also, you want to. Also he, uh, also he owns Wrexham... AFC, which is not a crime, but you know, he's, you know, it's worth pointing out, he owns an English football club. <laughs> it's, uh, along with Rob McElhenney from, um, from fucking, uh, the guy from fucking, what's it called now, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. So, <laughs> you know, just a fun fact for the American audience. It's a thing. <laughs> Good on Ryan Reynolds, to be honest. Good on Ryan Reynolds. Well done, Ryan Reynolds. Also, to because we have to because it's in our contract, I have to do this. Shadow the Hedgehog, Edgy the Hedgehog himself, should be played by Tommy Wiseau. Boom, Wiseau at the last. In the Wiseau. Last few minutes Wiseau. Of the episode, Wiseau. I mean, we haven't been going for that long. We've only been going for fifty-six minutes. Yeah, but it's still relatively close to the end of the episode. Yeah, fair. It's as normally about an I hour love... and a few minutes. As much as I love Tommy Wiseau, I don't think he'd make a good shadow. I don't think he's edgy enough. He'd make a good, like... He, who would he, in the Sonic canon, who would Tommy Wiseau be good as? I'm uh... thinking good at that, because he's just stupid. Who? Did it's you say... stupid and Did over you say the top Rouge the Bat? Big the Cat. Oh. No, Big the Cat, you yeah. <laughs> I thought he said Rouge the Bat, and I was going to no, say, I know he's Rouge. sexy, but you know. <laughs> Who? No, he should be Rouge the Bat and Big the Cat. <laughs> Who would be? Who would though be the perfect casting for Edge of the Hedgy? Who's like? Who's the edgiest guy no, in Hollywood? Probably cast Jared Leto. <laughs> Jared Leto or Johnny Depp, depending. Uh, no, both Depending of them have ruined like, every you know, movie they've backwards. been in recently. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who would say... be an actual decent cast, though, for Edgy the Hedgy? Uh, I'd say... Who's played Batman? Like a... Would... Would... Um, what's he called? Guy played... Christian Bale, Robert that's it. Robert Pattinson. I was thinking Christian, Christian Bale. Christian Bale, to be fair. To be fair. He actually could do well as it, and you know he's up to doing dumb shit because yeah. he's in Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, he's got like as he's, fucking he's, Thor he's, the God Butcher. He's Batman. Yeah, he's Thor the God Butcher, as well as Batman and American Psycho. Which I'm so, so glad. Also, s- side note, by the way, Christian Bale as Thor the God Butcher. First of all, amazing casting. Second of all, can't believe they're putting Thor the God Butcher in a fucking MCU movie. Like that man is just the most psychotic character season, in all of the Marvel comics. Phase 4 is going places. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it started with it started properly. I don't count don't count Black Widow with Shang-Chi, which was amazing. Forgetting about Eternals because it was just not good. Don't have and it the had energy No Way it. Home, which was great. Yeah. No Way Home, which is great. Multiverse of Madness, which looks great and is introducing America Chavez, 
which is amazing. Uh, I've meant, have I mentioned my love for America Chavez on this pod- podcast? Uh, you have, I, I think so. But, you know, I don't care. Uh, and I've mentioned it a lot in our like personal conversations. Yeah. Here. <laughs> then they're doing Love and Thunder, which is introducing Gore the God Butcher, and also um, Natalie Portman Thor, which is just, you know... Although, I think, you know, I think Miss Marvel there. might be bringing it down a bit, though. Mm. I'm looking forward to Miss Marvel, because Miss Marvel is a pretty, pretty damn good character. In it. No, it all looks... of the Disney Plus shows, other than Falcon and the Winter Soldier, have been pretty damn good. What's wrong with Falcon and the Winter like Soldier? Fal- that's, like, <laughs> that's like my favourite one. Uh, I it's, not my, like it. it's not my favourite, but I still like my it. My favourite one, Hawkeye. Oh yeah, it's still good, but it's my least favourite. Mm. Like, the, the best is Hawkeye. In my best opinion. is what if. The best is what if, undeniably. Uh, what if it's like second on the list. Effectively, to me at least. It goes like Hawkeye, what if, then like... WandaVision, Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Loki's a... Seen, well, I haven't seen... I've seen the first episode of Moon Knight, and the first episode of Moon Knight is pretty damn good, but I'm going to wait until we get to the end of the show. I feel like Loki clickbait yeah. a bit. Like, Loki ends up playing side Oh, yeah, Loki is to, disappointing. So, like, poor Tom Hiddleston. Like, what... What a poor bad Tom play. Hiddleston. There are also, th- also, also, Secret Invasion is happening as a Disney Plus show. Mm. I know this because Samuel Jackson was in our city, like, a, a couple of months ago. Yeah, I know. Which was a surreal experience. Like, Sam Jack was in, like, Mace Windu has been to, like, the city in which we live. That's, that's a really surreal experience. The city in which you live. Yeah. Are you trying? Are you trying to hide your location or something? Uh, I wonder why we'd be doing that, Sam. You know. Yeah. Hmm. You do know I all people why. would Maybe need to do. Would be like, you do know all people would need to do, right? It's just like look up cities where Sam Jackson has been recently. I, I for imagine filming. that's a fair few cities, mate. It's a fair few. It's Marvel. They go all over the shop. All over the gaff, as Matthew would say. Ah, uh, yes, in our humble city All over, in yeah. New York. Ah, uh, yes, we are definitely New York yes. Yans. We. Hey, I'm walking. We are here. New York Yans. We are New York hey, Yans. Forget about it. Forget we about forget it. Forget about it. We're hey, pe- Luigi. Forget. We're just. No. No, we're just three Joe Pesci's. <laughs> That's just what we are. With three, we're just Joe Pesci doing different voices. <laughs> this podcast is all along the, the, the with just Joe Pesci. And that was Mickey Mouse. Yeah, just I'm Joe Pesci. Joe I'm Pesci on the Joe, Joe Pesci on the Please consult Mickey Mouse. Everyone is Joe Pesci except Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> Yeah, no, but no. This is just a podcast of Joe Pesci on three different Discord accounts in three different rooms, running between them really quickly. Just sometimes it's his pre-recorded voice playing at the back. exact same. T- no, he records three separate it's, podcasts yeah, and loops Sandbox. the audio together. <laughs> yeah, and just like splice it together. The conspiracy's up. Yeah, we must reveal officially that this is Joe Pesci. Did we just debunk our own podcast? Yeah, that's a first, I think. I think that's genuinely a first. So, you know. Yeah, before the the internet gets to us first. We're on to you, Keemstar. We debunk ourselves. We're on to you, Matt Pat from Game Theory. Oh, yeah. You can't spell this ARG. What? Hearing no. Matt Pat swear is oh, yeah. very fucking funny. Matt Pat swearing is... What? I've especially not heard Matt Pat swearing. Especially considering he refused to say cry wank. Yeah, he didn't especially say cry wank Especially considering he refused to say cry wank. But, 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 what? hang on. I, I will pull Which up a video know. of Matthew Patrick swearing right now. Give me a second. Are we... 
Are we incorporating yeah, this into the podcast? Not. Yes. Hang on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Pose. It's in my gallery. Somewhere. We don't have control over this because it's Cal. Because Callum is recording and also that, editing this, one, this, this one, so we this have one. no control over what goes in. I can't. Are you gonna like share your what? screen or what like how? The fuck was that? There you go. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that all that well. Do you need to send it to me later? <laughs> this is coming from a man who refused to say cry wang. So, wow. Matthew Patrick's Anyway, swearing. so I feel like that's a logical end point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a logical end point. Uh, yeah. This has been the Toaster With Society Matthew podcast. Patrick I've been Joe Pesci. In the night. I've been Joe Pesci. I survived. So, <laughs> and together, we are the Joe <laughs> Pesci <laughs> Society podcast. <laughs> the Joe Pesci, yeah. And we'll, uh, and as we always do, we must end off in our traditional way. Uh, Joe Pesci, if you would. Uh, how about you go and fuck off?